Hey folks, welcome back to Beepnopolis Horror Stories. Pine View Drive Horror How To. Uh, um, I am Alex Beepna, and I am. <laughs> if I sound annoyed, it's because I am. Nothing. That's it. Nothing. Nothing. Anyone here has done. Oh, shut up. Um. The game said something about the clown doll, so I, I guess I'm gonna have to go check that out. Ah, uh, I think it's this way. Anyway, what we do in Pine View Drive is because the game itself is kind of repetitive and um, not horrifically scary, except when it's jump scaring me. As just as I'm saying that the game is not that scary. Oh, really? Really? The power is still out. Oh, that's great. Um. And there's nothing in here. Okay. So I have a key. I'm watching you, clown. Right, what I do is, um, I, I, I take this time to, uh, tell you how to do a thing. Usually it's, it's some food-related thing. But anyway, if I, if I sound annoying it, annoyed today, it is because I am. Um, it, among other things, there is some asshole outside showing off his subwoofers. So, um, yeah, that's, um, oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to do that. I, it, it's a little, uh, it's a little grating. Um, also, there's, there's other stuff, but, uh, never mind that. Uh, anyway. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I drove home from choir practice just now. Uh, I, I still cannot, as of yet, drive without a, uh, licensed operator over 21 in the front seat. Uh, it's a long story that basically boils down to a long time ago. I let my driver's license run out for reasons. Um, and I am in the process of getting it back. And, um, I currently have basically a learner license. It's, uh, I have to have a, a licensed operator riding shotgun over 21. Is there anything on the anvil? Nothing. Nothing whatsoever. There's a scarecrow here somewhere, isn't there? Whoa, what is this? Oops. Nope. Okay. That, that's a new one. I haven't been that way yet. Um, so yeah, I, I drove a friend's car home. And I, I think they must have put stupid in the water supply or something tonight. Because holy shit, son. People were driving like idiots. People were running out in the road. Pedestrians. Peds, as I like to refer to them. Can't go there. Okay. Uh, running out in the road, just just generally being fucking stupid. Okay. And I, I I may have snapped at somebody at some point prior to that. Um, I wasn't intending to. It was not my intention. But um. Uh, hey 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 batteries. Yeah yeah. Okay. Let me let me out of here. So, um, yeah, how's your bit? How's your day been? How's your day been? Well, here's what we're gonna do tonight. <laughs> I am going to, uh, I'm going to, to uh, I'm gonna stick, stick with the format. I'm gonna do a how-to. Uh, <coughs> hey, it's an owl. Alright, awesome. Uh, I'm gonna stick with the format. We're gonna do a how-to. And I am going to tell y'all how to make delicious one-pot pasta meals. Because, uh, you know, pasta is awesome, isn't it? Pasta is fucking awesome. Um, what's... Hello? Okay. I, I'm, not, I'm not going to... Uh, okay, yeah, I'm going to look. All right. Uh, no key... Do you have any keys, ma'am? Do you... Uh, no? No keys? All right. So I'm going to teach y'all how to make one-pot pasta meals. And this is really... This is so easy. Um, anyone can do it, because yeah, pasta is awesome, but having to wash like three or four fucking dishes is not. So, what you do is, 
Why is the flashlight flickering? Uh, what you mainly need is... Shut up. You need pasta. Shit. I was hoping that this was the key. It is not. You need pasta. Um, now I've seen this done. I've seen recipes in magazines and shit where this is done with spaghetti. Uh, personally, I have not had the best luck with it. I'm gonna turn the flashlight off. Uh, I, pasta that is in small shapes. Your, you know, your farfalle, your penne, your shells, your, you know, crap like that. Your little shapes tend to work better for this. Of course, I'm gonna brighten this up and post so you can see. I can't see a fucking thing. Um, let's, let's turn some lights on here. There we go. Or, uh, light some candles, because uh, apparently we still have no power. Yeah. Yeah. Check that shit out. Um. So, uh, you get your pasta. This also works better with your dry pasta out of a bag. Out of the, out of the, out of the pasta aisle. And not so much with the fresh pasta in the refrigerator case, okay? Uh, the fresh pasta most definitely has its use. But this is not the best one. Alright. So, you take your pasta. And you set it aside, actually. Uh, depending on what protein you use, you might want to brown it first. Or you might want to wait until um, you go to simmer. Or you might want to wait until the pasta is cooked and you just have... Uh, <laughs> You just have uh, some hot sauce to, to toss it in to cook, like in the case of delicate shit like shrimp. Okay. Alright. So. Uh, if your protein is of the sort that needs to be browned, that's not matches. God damn it. Um, you... It's not possible. The power is out. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you, dude. Alright. Uh, what vegetables you use, um, da -da -da -da. I know where the TV room is. Damn it, I know where the TV room is. Where the fuck is the TV room? Um, I think it's upstairs the other way. I think. I think it's this way. Um, usually I'll use mushrooms. You can use onions. Uh, Tomatoes. Uh, this is really the only thing you need to pre-cook if you are not tomatoes. I, if you put them in early on, they're basically gonna just disappear into the sauce. But your shrooms and stuff like that. Oh fuck. Um, you can saute those a little bit before. Before you. Uh, got a fucking cat. Uh, you, uh, let me check. Let me check for keys. Because, um, last time the fucking cat scared me, there was a key. But there is no key. Okay. Yeah, and then I walked all over the damn house looking for the key that, uh, the cat left. Alright, isn't the TV room, like, this way? Okay. I, I might be going completely the wrong way. Nope, not there. Uh, don't think it's this way. The fucking mannequin. Nope. I'm noping out. Okay. Yeah, okay. Uh, saute your veggies. And, you know, butter. Wine is good. Um, anything like that. <sighs> A little bit of garlic. Yeah, this is... I I, I, I'm, I use fuzzy measurements here. I'm the king of fuzzy measurements. Uh, the emperor, if you will, of fuzzy measurements. Well, these are downright her suit. But anyway, you uh, saute your veggies if, you, if need be. That is not where I need to go. This is where I need to go. Saute your veggies. What? Hey, all right. So I'll tell you, veggies. Can't see shit, Captain. Is that a candle? Yes, good. 
and it kind of helps if you uh, saute in the pasta just a little bit. You know, it picks up a little bit of flavor that way. Add your, you know, whatever spices, whatever herbs and crap you want to put in. I need to find the damn TV room, though, before I do much anything else down here. What is this? Oh, shit. Um. Wait. Wait. Ah, oh, damn. This is not where I want to be. Ugh. I know where I want to be. I know where I want to be. I know where I, I know where I want to be. I want to go downstairs. So you saute your pasta. Um, and then once your veggies are done, you put in, this is the tricky part, just barely, just barely enough water to almost cover up. I'm out of matches. Holy shit. That's a new one. Uh, just barely cover up. Clown, don't do it. Don't do it, clown. So just barely cover the pasta. Yeah, that's it. Hey. Um. Um. Flashlight. Key. Ah, shit, son. Okay, we got a jump scare here. That's nice. Can I, can I turn it off now? Oh, shit. Oh, jeez, okay. That's creepy. Okay. Oh, fuck me running. Ha. Huh. Oh, good, there's a key. Uh, Alright, so you put in just enough water to just barely cover up your pasta. And then, uh, kind of bring it to a gentle simmer. That fucking clown. Bring it to a simmer. Uh, there's nothing this way. I ain't, uh, uh, no, no, I ain't looking. And put a lid on it. Just put a, put a lid on it. Now, how much how much of the stuff do you put in, Alex? How much do you put in? Use your best judgment. However you how much you want to put in your face. That's the best thing about this recipe. It's however much you want to put in your face at any given moment. That's how much you make. All right? Um, was that? Oh, uh, shit. So yeah, I mean, like um, a, a, a good handful of pasta. Okay, that that's that's a good guideline for me. Is you know a handful or so, give or take. So you simmer up the pasta until it's done to your liking. I don't think that's where I want to be. You simmer the pasta till it's done to your liking. Okay. No, I'm still out of matches. Fuck. Um, and then... Oh, I almost forgot. Um, <laughs> you don't just use plain water, alright? You, you put some soup base or some bouillon cubes or something like that in there. Because that's what's going to make your pasta taste really good, alright? You put some bouillon cubes and shit in there. Make it, make it tasty. Is that where I want to be? I'm not real sure it is. Is it? Wait a minute. Hey. I, I done been here. And that's not where I want to done be. So anyway. Um, once the pasta is done to your liking. Fucking hell. Uh, well now I'm completely lost. Uh, upstairs? Maybe? Once the pasta is done to your liking. This is the fun part. Uh, you can add in your delicate proteins like your shrimp and stuff like that and just kind of let it cook. Okay, I have been here. This is not where I want to be. You add in your delicate... There we go. Proteins. And... Key? Yes, thank you. Still no matches. Fuck. Um... 
shiny paper? Yeah, batteries. Ah, thank you. Let them cook. Um, you can add in, uh, add in your tomatoes. Let them heat through. Ah, yes, matches. Thank you. Ah. And, um, okay. And then, uh, see, the magic happens while the pasta is cooking. It absorbs a lot of the liquid. And then the starch in the pasta, this is why dry pasta works better for this than fresh pasta. Because it's the starch in the pasta that does the magic, that makes the, turns the, the broth into a sauce. Oh, good, another key. And more batteries. Oh, bless this game. What? Who pstid at me? Oh, Jesus. Okay. There we go. All right. Got keys all up ends. So, um, let's see. Any shiny paper? Yes, shiny paper. Good. We're going to call it a friggin' day here. Let me get the matches. Let me light the candle. So, wait. That is how you one-pop pasta. You can add cheese once it's done. You can add, um, add whatever the fuck. You can add, uh, a spoonful of jarred sauce or cream cheese if it's not saucy enough for you. But, yeah, that, that's how you do the thing. The power has been out since yesterday's storm. Just as well that we had enough But not enough matches. goddamn matches. Okay. So, yeah, that is how you, <laughs> that is how you one-pot pasta. And, I don't know, I, I, I can expand on this, tell you how to make the cheeseburger pasta and without, you know, the hamburger helper powdered cheese bullshit, if you like. Not my health regen, that's good. But that will wait till another time. Actually, yeah. Oh, I was actually going to buy Soma tonight because it's out. It's out, except it costs money, and I'm, I'm saving my money right now. So maybe next week we'll play Soma. Maybe I'll have it by then. Maybe I can fit it in my budget because I'm not, I'm, I'm just a scrub on YouTube and I don't get review copies for free and bullshit like that. But uh, we may play Soma next week if I can squeeze it in my budget. If not, we'll come back to Pineview Drive, either that or do Beef Novelist After Dark. Anyway, this has been Horror How To on uh, Beef Novelist Horror Story. I will see you next week, folks. Take care. Bye bye.